ಪತ್ರತುಂಡಮಹಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿಸಮಪ್ರಭರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರ್ವದ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯ ವರದೆ ಕಾಮಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವೋಕೇ ಬವರೋಗಿ ನಿಧೇ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸದಾ ಶಿವಸಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾರುತ್ತಸ್ವಿ ತತ್ವಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೋ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ ಓಂ ಪಾಥಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬೋಧಿ ಭಗವತ ನಾರಾಯಣೇನ ಸ್ವಯಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಗ್ರಥಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಮುನಿ ಮಧ್ಯೆ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಅದ್ವೈತಮೃತವರ್ಷಿಣಿ ಭಗವತಿ ಅಷ್ಟಾದಶಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿನೀ ಅಂಬತ್ವಾಮನುಸಂದಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತೆ ಭವದ್ವೇಷಿಣಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಿಶಾಲ ಬುದ್ಧೆ ಉಲ್ಲಾರಬಿಂದಯತಪತ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಭಾರತತೈಲಪೂರ್ಣ ಪ್ರಜ್ವಲಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಪ್ರದೀಪ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಪಾರಿಜಾತೈಕಪಾಣಯ ಜ್ಞಾನಮುದ್ರಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೀತಾಮೃತದುಹೆ ನಮಃ ಸರ್ವೋಪನಿಷದೋ ಗಾವೋಪಾಲನಂದನ ಪಾರ್ಥೋ ವತ್ಸುಧೇರ್ಭೋಕ್ತ ದುಗ್ಧ ಗೀತಾಮೃತ ಮಹತ್ ವಸುದೇವಸುತ ಕಂಸಚಾನೂರಮರ್ದನ ದೇವಕೀ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಂದೇ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಭೀಷ್ಮ್ರೋನತ ಜಯದ್ರತಜಲ ಗಾಂಧಾರಣೀಲೋತ್ಪಲ ಶಲ್ಯಗ್ರಾಹವತಿ ಕೃಪೆ ನವಹನೀ ಕರ್ಣೇನ ವೇಲಾಕುಲ ಅಶ್ವ ಕರ್ಣ ಘೋರ ಮಕರ ದುರ್ಯೋಧನಾವರ್ತಿ ಸೋತೀರ್ಣ ಖಲು ಪಾಂಡವೈರಣ ನದೀ 
ಕೈವರ್ತಕೇಶವ ಪಾರಾಶರ್ಯವಚಸರೋಜಮಲ ಗೀತಾಗಂಧೋತ್ಕಟ ನಾನಾಖ್ಯಾನಕೇಸರ ಹರಿಕಥಾಸಂಬೋಧನಾಬೋಧಿ ಲೋಕೆ ಸಜ್ಜನ ಷಟ್ಪದೈರಹರ ಪೇಪೀಯಮಾನ ಮುದಾಧಾರತಪಂಕಜ ಕಲಿಮಲ ಪ್ರಧ್ವಂಸಿ ನಶ್ರೇಯಸೆ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲ ಪಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತೆ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕೃಪಾತಮಹಂ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಯಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮವರುಣೇಂದ್ರರುದ್ರಮರು ಸ್ತುನ್ವಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈಸ್ತವೈ ವೇದೈ ಸಾಂಗಪದಕ್ರಮೋಪನಿಷದೈ ಗಾಯಂತಿ ಯಂ ಸಾಮಗ ಧ್ಯಾನಸ್ಥಿ ತತ್ಗತೇನ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯಂ ಯೋಗಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಂತಂ ನ ವಿದುಸ್ಸುರಸುರಗಣಾಯತಸ್ಮೈ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ಯರಂಚಮ ದೇವೀ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಯ ಮುದೀರೇತ್ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮನೆ ನಮಃ ಚತುರ್ಥೋಧ್ಯಾಚ ಜನ್ಮಕರ್ಮ ಚ ಮೇ ದಿವ್ಯ ಜನ್ಮಕರ್ಮೇತಿ ತತ್ವ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮ ನೈತಿ ಮಾಮೇತಿ ಸೋರ್ಜುನ ನೈತಿ ಮಾಮೇತಿ ಜನ್ಮ ಜನ್ಮ ಮಾಯಾರೂಪ ಕರ್ಮ ಚ ಸಾಧೂನಾ ಪರಿತ್ರಾದಿ ಸಾಧೂನಾ ಪರಿತ್ರಾದಿ ಮೇ ಮಮ ಮೇ ಮಮ ದಿವ್ಯ ಅಪ್ರಾಕೃತ ಐಶ್ವರ ದಿವ್ಯ ಯಥೋಕ್ತ ಯಹವೇತಿ ತತ್ವೇನ ಯಥಾವತ್ ತ್ಯಕ್ತೇಹಂ ಇಮಂ ಪುನರ್ಜನ್ಮ ಪುನರುತ್ಪತ್ತಿ 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 ನ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ನೋತಿ ಮಾತಿ ಆಗತಿ ಸಹ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಹೇ ಅರ್ಜುನ ಮಮ ಜನ್ಮ ಮಮ ಕರ್ಮ ಯಹ ವೇತಿ ತನರ್ಜನ್ಮ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾತಿ ಆಗತಿ ಮಾತಿ ಮಾಶ್ವರ ಈಶ್ವರಸ್ವರೂಪ ಮಾಶ್ವರ ಈಶ್ವರಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅಹಂ ಈಶ್ವರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಅಭಿನ್ನ ಇತಿ ಜ್ಞಾತ್ವಾ ಮಾತಿ 
ज्ञानम ये आगछति गोइंग हियर ईश्वर ईश्वर माम एति इट इज नॉट ईश्वर सामीप्य नॉट क्लोज टू ईश्वर इट इज एति प्राप्नोति एति इंदातु एति आगछति प्राप्नोति इत्यर्थः अथवा प्राप्नोति आल्सो दे शुड ट्रैवल इन वर्ल्ड knowing the knowing knowing the janma and karma of me the ishvara against me how by knowing gaining is possible if knowing gaining is possible then it implies agyana agyana nivritti agyana nivritti dwara agyana nivritti dwara mam eti only the agyanam the ignorance which prevented from knowing one swarupa thus that goes away when that goes away then you have ishvar darshanam then you have the vision of then you have the vision of the the oneness of the ishvara ishvara and me the jiva that is eti eti mam eti moksham prapnoti ityatah against moksha it becomes free mam eti mam ishvara eti means not ishvara samipya ishvara mama swarupam mama karma mama janma gyatva it is mama swarupam gyatva मम स्वरूप ज्ञावा अहम ईश्वर विच इज मोक्षस्वरूप स्वरूप ऑफ मी द लॉर्ड इज फ्री भगवान इज फ्री ईश्वर इज फ्री द फोर ऐम ऑलसो फ्री इथ ईश्वर इज फ्री द नौ कैन इट बी फ्री ओनली वेन दश्वर एंड मी आर नॉट डिफरेंट द फोर ए आगछति comes to me the bhagwan says so it doesn't mean that person goes to some place vaikuntha or kailasha means the person by knowing the swarupa of ishvara which is not different from oneself he becomes free that is the the reason and he is ishvara why ishvara because this jagat jagat karanam jagat karanam brahma ishvara by its maya by his maya power he incarnates when there is a necessity when there is a situation dharmasya eda eda dharmasya glanigi adharmasya abhyutta anubhavati tada so he incarnates himself with this maya shakti therefore is janma is maya karma is maya maya karma karma is sadhu sadhu parithana adi therefore if one knows ishvara if one understands ishvara tatvatah tatvena swarupam tatvatah means the nature of the lord if one knows the nature of bhagavan that bhagavan is that bhagavan is akarta abhokta jagat karanam brahma brahma is brahma is it is sarva vyapi it is it is free from all limitations brahma doesn't have janma doesn't have karma ishvara has janma and karma so therefore therefore the if ishvara by knowing ishvara janma and ishvara karma one becomes free means that upadi is is mithya therefore 
Ishwara Swarupam is Brahma, this Akartra Abhoktra Brahma, the Akartra Abhoktra Nitya Shuddha Bhukta Subhavam, that Ishwara, knowing that I become free, therefore I also have to be that. Since Ishwara is Sarvabhyapi, it includes me. Therefore, Ishwara Jnanam implies Jnanam of the individual, myself also. If Ishwara is away from me, knowing Ishwara, I cannot become free. If Ishwara includes me, that I am not separate from Ishwara, knowing Ishwara is equal to knowing myself. Therefore, therefore I become free. Only when Ishwara is not different from me, then Ishwara Jnanena Tattvataha, that is Tattvataha, Tattvena, Ishwara Jnanena Moksha Bhavati. So knowing Ishwara becomes free. One becomes free. Knowing Ishwara is Tattvataha, Tattva Jnana. Tattva Jnana of Ishwara, Ishwara Swarupam, Brahma, that Brahma Agam Asmi, Iti Jnana. Iti Jnana, Kaivalya Siddhim, Moksham, Prapnoti, Muktaha Bhavati. He becomes free. Becomes free means the samsara goes away. The samsara which is in the form of karta and, and bhokta. That kartratva and bhoktutva which binds a jiva and makes him a samsari. Which is a cause for punar janma, janma marana. So therefore he becomes free from that. So aikyam is pointed out in this mantra. Ishvara jnana. Ishvara jnana. Moksha bhavati iti. That then the Ishvara has to be myself. Otherwise, how can I be free? So Ishvara Jnana is Aikya Jnana. Jiveshvara Aikya Jnana. That Aikya is understood. So Aikya Jnana Mameti. Avam Ishvarat Abhinnaha. Iti Jnatva Mamaswarupam. Tattvata Mamaswarupam. Eti Jnatva. Brahma Vita Brahma Iva Bhavati. Jnatva Bhavati Ityartaha. So, Yeti Agachati is equal to Bhavati. Brahma Vita Brahma Eva Bhavati. The knower of Brahma recognizes, the knower of Brahma, having recognized oneself to be Brahma, the knower of Brahma, becomes Brahma. What becomes Brahma is already Brahma. So, Brahma Vita Brahma Eva Bhavati. Knowing Brahma, knowing Brahma is becoming Brahma. So becoming is not really becoming, within quote. So only here, Agachati is not really Agachati, that is not travel involved. Travel implies Upadi. If Upadi is there, if Upadi also travels, Upadi enjoys Satyatva. If Upadi is Satya, then there always there is alienation, always there is separation. So always Ishwara will remain separate from me. Then there cannot be Moksha. Then there cannot be Moksha. So if at all Moksha is the, if at all mo the really the Moksha, that Moksha only is the form of that Agam Jagat Karnam Brahma. Only this Jnana. Jnana Eva. There are other types of moksha which the, the Vishishta Dvaitis and all they talk about. But it is not they are not really moksha. Different types of moksha, in fact. Like uh, Salokya Mukti, Samipya, Sarupya, Sayujya, Iti, different types. You become a part of Ishvara, Sayujya Mukti. Or you stay with, with the Lord in this loka, Vaikuntha. Salokya. Or you remain very close to the Lord, Samipya. Or you assume the form of the Lord, Sarupya. So all these muktis, all these muktis doesn't 
doesn't make the jiva doesn't make the jiva really free. The, there is always a, a, a the, the difference that jiva is different. He become a part. He become a part. The Bhagavan is whole and he becomes a, a part of that. So he becomes a part. That part is distinct from the whole. So as a distinct is there. So Dvaitam. Dvaitam is there. Then that is not really freedom. Similarly, Sayujyam, Samipyam, being close to the Lord. Being close to the Lord, how long? Always seeing the Lord. Being close to the Lord means that implies you also enjoy Upadhi and Ishwara also enjoy Upadhi. You also must have Upadhi. Ishwara also must have Upadhi. Then only sa then Samipyam is possible. Therefore, you have to go to a place like Vaikuntha, etc. So that that is limitation only. If you have if you want to go to if you have to go to Kaila Kaila Vaikuntha for Bhukti, the travel is involved. That loka also, that loka also will be similar to this loka. Maybe it is an improved loka. Improved in terms of that in that the sufferings. In this loka, as in this loka, may not be there, but but that alienation, the separation will be there. That doesn't make oneself free. Only purnatam, purnatam alone, purnatam, mama swarupa purnatam. That alone makes oneself free from really from the sense of want. Otherwise, the sense of want, sense of wanting, not wanting to separate from Ishwar, always want to be close. That is also a samsara one. That is also samsara. So the samipyam, samipyam is involves sagunam brahma, brahma with guna, sagunam. If brahma without attributes come, then one may not accept, one will not accept. I accept only that Lord with, with the sagunam, with that character, with that attributes. That is also limitation, strictly the limitation imposed on the Lord. So that cannot be really a yeah, mukti. If at all mukti is there, that mukti is only in the form of the knowledge, knowing that Jagat Karnam Brahma Agam Asmi Iti. So that Ishwara alone who comes in the form of the avatara, as and when requires time, when there is a time. And the knowing is Janma and Karma makes myself free means then I have to be that the Lord. So Swaru that is Swarupataha. Swarupataha Abedaha Asti. Upaditaha Bedaha Asti. So the other muktis, the other Darshanik, other the Siddhanta talk about, they are not really mukti. They are, they are mukti with limitation. Mukti with limitation is not mukti. The real mukti is the Swarupa Jnanam, Ishwara Jnanam, Atma Jnanam, Brahma Jnanam. So Atma is Ishwara. Agam Atma Ishwaraha, Swarupa, Swarupa Jnanam. With Upadi, I am different. Upadi, with Upadi, Vedaha, Asti Eva, Vedaha. With Upadi, Agam Alpagnaha. Vitupadi Ishvara is Sarvagnya. Vitupadi Aham Alpa Shaktima. Vitupadi Ishvara is Sarva Shaktima. So Veda is there. Then Ishvara is always an object of worship for me. He is different from me, he is away from me. He remains always an object of worship for me. Minus Upadi Ishvara is Sarvagnya. Ishvara is Sarvagnya. Now what about me? The Jiva, without Upadi. Sarvajnaha iti. Therefore, Swarupataha Vedaha Nasti, that Abeda Jnanam, Abeda Jnanam leads one to Moksha. Mam eti. Iti. This is the meaning which we have seen now from Gita Priya Bodhini. We will read for.
for this mantra, the commentary. Dushtanam Shishtanam Cha Nigraha Anugrahartam Dushtanam Nigrahartam Shishtanam Anugrahartam Restraining the withholding the that or Nigraha Nigrahanam restraining Dushtanam Nigrahanam and blessing the Shishtanam Shishta Purusha So Punishing the, the Dushtas, Adharmikas, and blessing the, the Dharmikas, Shishtanamcha, Dharmastapanarthamcha, to establish the Dharma, Dharmasya Samyak Stapanam Dadartam, to make the people follow the Dharma, Dharmasam Stapanam, that is Dharmasam Stapanam, Dadartamcha, Vivasvadibhyaha, Vivasvan, etc. Vivasvan, Manehe Praha, Manuhu, Manuhu, Ikshwaka Vemarveed, Iti, Vivasvadi Bhaha, Yoga Upadesha Yacha, Mayaya, Sambavitani Yani Sharirani, Yani Taihi Krutani Karmani, Tani Yetani Chesarvani, Vasutaha, Brahma Matra Eva Iti, Yakajana Ti, Saha, Muktim Gachati, Saha Muktim Gachati. So Yoga, Yoga Upadesha, yeah. By the Upadesha of this Yoga, this Jnanam, to Vivaswan, etc. Mayaya Samba Vitani Yani Sharirani. The Sharirams which are created, produced by, by Maya, Mayaya. Yani Taiki Kutani Sarvani Karmani Yetani. The karma which were done by those Shariram. So Mayaya Sambhavita Janma this Shariram Tena Kirta Karma. Those are for Janma and Karma. Vastutaha really it is Brahma Matra Mani Brahma Eva Iti Yahajanati, the one who knows. Taha Muktim Gachati, he goes, he goes to Moksha, it means against Moksha. So Gachati is Prapnoti, Avagamanam, Avagachati, Tirtaha. The Shloka Mam Yeti, Yeti, Gachati, Avagachati. He gains Avagachati, Muktim Gachati, Muktim Prapnoti, that is in the form of Avagamanam, Avagachati, Ityata, that is the Upanishad, Upani. Shadu Shadu Zatu Visharana Gati Avasadana Gati Gati also meaning is that Gati is Gamanam going. The word Shadalu has got these three meanings Visharana Gati Avasadana Gati is movement going. We have seen in Mundaka <coughs> that the Acharya given has given this Gamanam going, going to. Brahma Loka, going to Brahma Loka and from there getting Moksha, Krama Mukti. So, Gachati, Avagachati. Yeah, there is no going to Brahma Loka. It is Ishvara Jnana, Uttim, Prapnoti, Gachati. Janma Karma Cha Medivyam, Evam Yoveti Tattvataha, Tektva Dehum Punar Janma, Naitama Meti, Sorjuna. Janma karma iti, janma karma iti, itara anapekshaya, svatmani swayam meva subprakashena, tipyate prakashate iti divyam. Divyam is itara anapekshaya, not depending on the other. Svatmani swayam meva by itself, subprakashena, tipyate subprakasha. Saprakashena Deepyate by itself it illumines, illuminates iti divyam. So divyam is self shining. Does, doesn't depend on any other thing for its for its illumination. Saprakasha. Divyam. Nirvishesha chide karasam param brahma. It is nirvishesham. No vishesha, no attributes, nirvishesha, nirguna vidyartaha. 
chit ekarasam it is chit it is chaitanya it is ekarasam ekarasam is ekarasam only better not to translate chit ekarasam one homogeneous that is doesn't seem to that the translation there is no ruchi in that chit ekarasam is chit ekarasam it is only chit pure consciousness chit ekarasam param brahma then divi div iti divudato ho kibantam rupam tasmin divi pare brahmani purnanande kaghane advitiye sarva adishtarva adishtane pratita ya div iti div datu divadigana datu div datu with kip pratya you get div plus kip divi iti div datu ho kibantam rupam kibantam rupam you get div tasmin in that div shabda when you decline saptami divi divi is brahmani brahmani advitiya brahmani purnanande ka ghane brahmani brahma which is purnanande ka ghana ananda which is complete it is only ananda ananda because it is ananta therefore ananda purnanande purnaha purnaha ananda yasya sah and it is purnanande ek ghana ek ghana is it is purnanande ek ek ghana yeah the the gana it, it is means that it is one whole it is it's same as purnamon it is one whole that ananda is one whole there are not divisions in the in that that is ek gana therefore aditi therefore it is non dual no division and it is adishtanam for everything sarva adishtane ya pratita ya prakriti hi pratita the prakriti pratita which appears which manifest in that brahma yacha prakritam me janma shariram icha tatkritam karma the janma the prakritam janma because it is prakriti therefore janma that is shariram and sharirakrita karma tad etat sarvam all this janma and karma all this tatvatah really adhyatma drishtya parishilya divyam divah brahmanah swarupam divyam chaitanyam tanmatratyeva iti evam yah vetti having inquired analyzed by adhyatma drishti adhyatma drishtya with the vision of adhyatma adhyatma drishtya parishilya not logic drishtya adhyatma drishtya parishilya so there is a yeah, there is a the, the an attitude is involved it is adhyatma drishtya parishilya analyzing from the standpoint of oneself adhyatma drishti spiritual standpoint atma drishti atma drishtya from the standpoint of the atma parishilya divyam divah brahmanah parishilya divyam divah brahmanah brahmanah swarupam divyam brahma which is divah divah is shakti bhakti divah brahmanah brahma which is divah which, which is shining its swarupam is divyam divyam is therefore chaitanyam brahmanah swarupam in fact the shashti is aupacharika shashti brahmanah chaitanyam is brahma is chaitanya the god is brahmanah chaitanya the swarup of brahma which is divyam which is divine and it is chaitanya tanmatram eva iti that alone it is it is iti what ishvara that alone ishvara is chaitanya that's why adhyatma drishtya aham atma chaitanyam then what is ishvara ishvara also 
चैतन्यम वेति साक्षात जानाति अपरोक्षतया साक्षात जानाति द वन हु नोस सह सर्वस्य ब्रह्म मात्रत्व दर्शी सह सर्वस्य इज द ब्रह्म मात्रत्व दर्शी ही बिकम्स द सीयर ऑफ ब्रह्म ही बिकम्स द सीयर ऑफ ब्रह्म सर्वस्य ब्रह्म आत्मा दर्शी ब्रह्म मात्रत्व दर्शी सम ही बिकम्स द सीयर ऑफ ब्रह्म एवरीवेयर of all and he is vidwan vidwan imam vidvat degam tyaktva having given up this body this body vidvat degam is dega is vidva dega dega doesn't have vidvat dega that vidvat degam is because the person is knows therefore he is a gyani the dega is gyani dega to so say that gyani dega is not the dega is is gnani deha is upadi deha is an anatma so it is the body of the gnani is vidvat deha the 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 person knows brahma see that gnanam gnanam is for atma or gnanam is for anatma you cannot say answer both if you say gnanam is for anatma the shariram How can shariram is jada? How can shariram know? Therefore, gyanam is not for anatma. Is gyanam for atma? If gyanam for atma, then now that is then how when atma became a gyani? Atma is ever as it is. Always it is gyani only. So, so therefore, therefore if for 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 whom this gyanam is. This gyanam, that 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 gyanam is not really for the upadi. It is not really for the upagita. Atma is gyana swarupa. Therefore, that gyanam which seems to be covering the the upadi, that alone is removed. Like that upadi, the mind, antakaranam. Where the notion of karta, kartrutto, bhogtrutto is there, that is removed. Therefore, upadi remaining same. Now, the person has gained the vision, so he enjoys the same upadi and not touched by samsara. That person who en- who lives in the world with that upadi, and that is called vidvat deva. So, not that deha becomes jnani. That with the deham, tektwa giving up that, punar janma na gaiti, he doesn't gain a new janma again, doesn't gain another janma. Punar janma na gaiti, na punaha ja gaite, he doesn't come back, he doesn't gain another shariram because no karma left out. Kartrutto not the, therefore karma not the, therefore na ja gaite, kintu maam gaiti. सचिदानंदक If becoming is real, then it is samsara. Therefore, here that becoming is within court. That is not really becoming. Recognizes oneself to be Brahma. That is Brahma prapti, moksha prapti. That is why it is jivan mukti, jivan yeva mukta ha bhavati. Then vidhega muktim gacchati ityartha ha. After the fall of the body, he gains vidhega mukti, mukti without shariram. while living itself is free then after the fall of the body it continues to be free videha muktim gacchati ityaha so videha mukti why videha mukti is it because punar janma there is no punar janma maam yeti punar janma na bhavati tektva adekam punar janma na yeti therefore videha mukti right then the next shloka that is shloka number 
9 so shloka number 9 shloka number 10 yeah ninth shloka we have read now the 10th shloka we will read will read sangati naisha moksha marga naisha moksha marga idanim pravrtaha idanim pravrtaha kim targi kim targi purvam api purvam api bita raga bhagat krodha bita raga bhagat krodha man maya ma mupashrita man maya ma mupashrita bahavom jnana tapasa Knowing Ishvara, one becomes free. Said in the previous shloka, ninth shloka. Now, this marga, this is moksha marga. Knowing Ishvara, one becomes free. That marga, moksha marga. Na yesha moksha marga ha idanim pravrtaha. Idanim pravrtaha means it is this marga, it is not pravrta, not started recently. It did not start yesterday. Then what? Kim tarhi? Then, then, then what? Then when? It is purvamapi. Earlier also, it means this is how it was all the way. It is not something this started recently. Because we study Shastram now, it is not that this Marga started recently. There were people before us, they were all they were following, they were studying Shastram, pursuing Jnanam, and they have gained a moksha. They have done karma yoga by which Gained Chitta Shuddhi, Vipassana Ajitta Neshalyam, and then they came to Vedanta, studied under the Guru, did Shavanam and Viridhyasanam, and gained Moksha. So there are people before, Puramapi. So not that it, it started recently. For us, maybe it started because we, are, we have ventured into the study of Shastram now because we have got some Punyam, because of some Punyam got an opportunity to study Shastram, exposed to Shastram. So therefore, this Moksha Margaha, this Marga, the pursuit of this knowledge, freedom, Moksha, Idanim na Pravrtaha. Idanim na Pravrtaha. Did not start now. It is there, beginninglessly there. When the Srishti was was created from that time onwards, it is there. And therefore, there were people before who have attained moksha. So, why this question, Kim Tari, why this question comes? Because you are, you are giving, you are talking about, you are giving Upadesha and talking about moksha. Is it something came recently? No. Purumapi. It is Earlier also, before also, people had pursued and gained moksha. In fact, it is from the very beginning, beginningless that this pursuit is beginningless. When the srishti started from that time onwards, it is there. In the beginning, in the Upodgata Vashim, Bashekara said, Pravati Lakshanam, Navrati Lakshanam, that is Lakshana, that is two types of Nishtadvayam. Pravriti Lakshanam, Navriti Lakshanam, two Lakshana, two Margas taught by me. Pravriti Lakshanam, Pravriti Marga is, is by Pravriti, engaging in karma. Navriti is withdrawal from karma, that is for sannyasis. So two types of Rishta, Jnana Yogena Sankhyanam, Karma Yogena Yogina. It is that from the very beginning. So the san Sankhyas, sannyasis, who, who pursue jnanam, who pursue jnanam, giving up, giving up karma, 
that exclusive commitment pursuit is only moksha, this jnanam. So, therefore, they have fall, they have tread this path, moksha marga, before. The srishti itself, it was, at the beginning of srishti itself, it is created by the Lord. So, therefore, it is not something came up recently. Shastra is a pramanam. When? From when it started becoming a pramanam? You cannot ask this question. It is a pramanam since Srishti started. Therefore, the moksha marga is there since this Srishti came into existence. Then how did they attain moksha? Moksha they attained by this, by gradual growth. By gradual growth, people have gained moksha. For that only, Bhagavan says, for that only, I have shown the path in the form of the Veda. First is Karma Marga, then, then Jnana Marga. Karma Marga in the form of the, the Grasta Ashrama and Jnana Marga in the form of Sanyasa. Vita Raga Bayakrodaha, Vita Raga Bayakrodaha implies Karma Yoga. This Raga Baya Krodha. Raga the attachment. Ishta Vishaya Prapti. Ishtaya Ishta Vishaya. Ishta Vastu Prapta Vishaya. Atava Anishta Vastu Nivrutta Vishaya. Both are, both are. One is Raga, other one is Dvesha. So Dvesha is also nothing but a form of Raga for. Anishtavastu, Raga for Anishtavastu, not in the form of not wanting. So we give a name, Dvesha. So Raga means Dvesha is understood. So Raga Dvesha. And Bhaya, the fear. Desires are there. And when it is obstructed, it is, becomes Krodha. And fear is there, the fear of losing. The fear of gaining Anishta, was Anishta, or fear of losing Ishta. Causes fear. That's a threat. Insecurity, in other words, fear. So, Vita Raha Bayak Prodaha, they are Vita. Vipurvaka Indatu, Ta Prataya, Vita. Vigataha, Nirgataha. It has gone from whom? Vita Raha Bayak Prodaha. It is a Bhagavadiki Samasa. That is, Raga Bhaya Prodha has gone from whom? From whom? The Mamukshu. Who is that? Karma Yogi. Karma Yogena. How? Karma Yogena. So from a Mamukshu, from a Sadaka, these have gone. Bhaya, Raga Bhaya Prodha. Bhagavachana. Raga Shcha, Bhaya Shcha, Prodha Shcha, Raga Bhaya Prodha, Itarita Dodda Samasa. Ita Raya Raga Bhaya Krodaha Yasmat Saha Bhuri Samasa. So has gone from whom? From whom? From the Mukshu of by Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga. Na. So Karma Marga. So Karma Marga for Chitta Shuddhi. Therefore, the person following the, the Karma Marga, Karma Yoga, he becomes free from Raga Dvesha Adi Mala. He becomes relatively. If these are not there, a person is relatively free. The relative freedom is required for gaining absolute freedom. The person becomes relatively free. At least no worries, no concern. He is happy, relatively happy. So, when Raga is not there, when fear is not there, when Prodha is not there, the person enjoys peace, relative peace, relative happiness, relative comfort. The Raga alone, the Raga, Raga Dvesha alone, the Raga means, Raga we can translate as Kama. When Kama is obstructed, it becomes Prodha. When Kama, when there is a fear of using the Kama, the, 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 the Ishta Vastu, then there is, then it becomes Bhaya. So, the Raga alone gets converted into this Bhaya and Prodha. Therefore, it's all Raga, Raga only. Desire. It's all desire, binding desires. If the desires are unbinding, then it is no problem. Binding desires, attachment. 
without attachment we use saying that without which i cannot live that is attachment so raga is a cause raga bhaya krodha by that we can include all uh, other things also the three in fact raga alone is sufficient raga brings in krodha and bhaya so raga is a cause for everything that is desire is a cause for everything and that the desire when we say binding desires binding desires is a cause for samsara and that has gone from whom because of karma yoga ishvara arpana buddhya karma karoti and prasada buddhya karma palam swikaroti the person has got the antakaram which is ready to accept anything any result any any result any result any type of result of the karma of the karma what he does the person is is enjoys freedom relatively free that attitude is required so therefore this person is the mumukshu a karma yogi vitaraha bhaya krodaha vitaraha bhaya krodaha so by karma yoga the raga dveshas are reduced there is the sufficient neutralization of raga dvesha and the person is commits himself to doing karma in keeping with his varna and ashrama does karma and whatever comes as a comes to, as a result that he accept with prasada buddhi therefore raga dvesha doesn't have any say on this person he doesn't act as per raga dvesha raga dvesha cannot dictate the person the raga dvesha is in this person it is it is there's no influence therefore that that the attitude of the person is talked about so therefore vita raga bhaya krodaha it means a person is shuddha shuddha antakaranaha shuddha antakaranaha it means the person is ready for jnana yoga he has gained jnana yogyata prapti so vita raga bhaya krodaha then manmayaha then manmayaha manmayaha is mayat mayat pratyaya we have seen before mayat pratyaya use in the sense of prachuryarte prachurya is abundance in the sense of abundance plenty prachuryarte or vikararte the form of modification that in in the meaning of modification or swarupaarte here it is not in prachuryarte not in swaru not in uh, vikararte there is no vikara of me me means here manmaya means mat asmat asmat means ishvara bhagwan says that for man mat man is mat mat maya asmat maya mama maya man man maya we are saying that in the compound tava putra tat putra mama putra mat putra similarly here also here it maya is a pratyaya so mama so mat asmat satmat is ishvara so ishvara maya means ishvara swarupa ityartha so man maya means this person mat maya he discovers the, the swarupam of ishvara swarupam of ishvara to be what to be myself that is the ishvara swarupa is is mama swarupa therefore this person is aveda darshi brahma darshi atma darshi ityartha man maya means so the person who has discovered the oneness with the lord that is manmayaha vitaraha bhayat krodaha all bhagavachana manmayaha that is the their atma darshinaha ityartah brahma darshinaha ityartah the swarupa of ishvara is the swarupa of myself then mam upashitaha so where is that where is that uh, the rashaya maam eva the rashaya there the rashaya is in me alone because of gyanam maam upashitaha they resort to me only not because they are troubled by samsara now they are free they are muktaha so where they will abide they abide in the knowledge of oneness with me the lord myself ishvara 
so they abide in that knowledge knowledge of oneness with me mam that is my mam mam is ishwaram here bhagwan stands krishna stands from the stops from the standpoint of ishwara bhagwan krishna please not not it is vasudeva krishna bhagwan krishna so mam upashita ami they resort to me they abide me they abide in the knowledge of oneness with me ishwara and bhagavah jnana tapasaha jnana bhagavah jnana tapasapu jnana tapasa putaha not tapasaha bhagavah jnana tapasa putaha putaha purified bhagavah many many people jnana tapasa tapas here the tapas is what tapas jnana tapas it is it is tapas is jnana tapas recently we saw in mandaka also tapas ಸತ್ಯನ ಲಭ್ಯ ತಪಸಾಹೇಶ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚಾರ್ಯೇನ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಮಂತಶ್ಚರೀರೆ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಮಯೋಗಿ ಶುಭ್ರ ಎಂ ಪಶ್ಯಂತಿ ಯತಯ ಕ್ಷೀಣ ದೋಷ ದರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಸಾ ತಪಸ್ ತಪಸ್ ಇತಿ ಕಾಶಕರ ಸೆಟ್ ಕ್ರಮಂಬರ್ ತದ್ದಿ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆತ್ಮ ದರ್ಶನ ಅಭಿಮುಖಿ ಸ್ವತ್ ಅಭಿಮುಖಿ ಭಾವತ್ ಪರಮ ಸಾಧನ ತಪ na itara chandragyanaadi so tapas is not the observance of chandragyana vrata and all upavasa and all is not tapas that is not the tapas here here tapas is jnana atma darshana abhimukhi bhavat mundaka vashyam visa and also in mundaka bhagavad pada quoted manas chaindriyanam cha aikagriyam paramam tapaha iti from mahabharata in fact you will see in the geeta priya bodhini here also the acharya had quoted this exactly the same you will read that later manascha you can see here manascha indriyanam cha ih ekagriyam paramam tapaha iti smaranat smaranat is from mahabharata the same in vashikara also quoted for the mantra in the mundaka upanishad ಸತ್ಯನ ಲಭ್ಯ ತಪಸ ಹೇಶ ಆತ್ಮ ಸೊ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತಪಸ ಪೂತ ಸೊ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತಪಸ್ ಸೊ ಯ ದ ತಪಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ತಪಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜಪ ಆರ್ ವ್ರತ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಜ್ಞಾನ ತಪಸ್ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ತಪಸ್ ಪೂತ ಸೊ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಪ್ಯೂರಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ಜ್ಞಾನ all the other tapas are for relative purity it's only for preparation the real or the ultimate purity impurity is agnana other that cause for agnanas are the relative purities that goes away by karma yoga ragadvesha utilization tama yoga the ultimate purity agnana that has to go how it will go only by gnana therefore that jnanam is equa- equated to tapas jnana sadhanam therefore shravana manana vidhyasanam that jnana yoga that is tapas so jnana tapasa jnana tapasa because jnanam is the ultimate purifier like the fire fire purifies the jnana agni dagda karmanam tamah panditam budaha so jnana agni for jnana tapas tapa dahe tapa means tap dahe to to burn to heat that is why it is jnanam is talked talk as agni jnana agni dagda karmanam jnana agni so jnana tapas the tapas jnana tapas makes a person pure it means makes a person completely free from agnanam so having having gone having and the agnanam having gone from that person then what happens to the person mad bhavam agataha mad bhavam agataha he gains mai bhavam mam bhavam ishvara bhavam iti atma bhavam mad bhavam agataha he gains mai swarupa mai state what is the state of ishvara ishvara is ever free therefore he becomes muktah jeevan eva muktah bhavati varnaantaram videha mukti hi mukti praapnoti ಇತಿ ಮದ್ಭಾವ ಆಗತಾ ಇತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ 
ಅದ್ಭಾವಂ ಆಗತ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸ್ವರೂಪಂ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತವಂತ ವೆನ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಬಲ್ ನೌ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ದಫೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಾಧನ ದಿಸ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮಾರ್ಗ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಡೇ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮಾರ್ಗ then bash into this we'll read it we'll read that in the, the next class om pur namada pur namidam pur nad pur namada chate pur nasya pur namada ya pur nameva vashishyate om shanti 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 hari ji om shri guru pyo namaha ಧನ್ಯವಾದ 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 ಧನ್ಯವಾದ